to my channel. This is Sam. I'm playing Dragon Age. Oh my God. Same game. Yeah. I knew him as Solus. Smart, thoughtful, loved to hear himself talk. But long ago, he had a different name. The Dreadwolf. Ancient elven god of lies, or heroic rebel against tyranny. Depending on which story you believe. In his desperate fight against the corrupt elven gods, Solus imprisoned them, creating a veil that split our world from the raw magic of the Fade. He had won. But the veil cost the elves everything. Their magic, their freedom, even their immortality. Now, Solus wants to tear down that veil and undo the damage he caused. Even if that means our world has to burn. Somebody's gotta stop him. And that's where you come in. Lineage. This is Elf. This is Konari. Okay. This is the mission for the Empire. Human. Dwarf. Maybe I will take this Kunari. This looks cool, man. Okay, I will take that character. Oh shit! I pressed again. Okay, so this is Rogue Hallmark's uh, quick movement reflex. Throw all the battlefield somewhere, waste his sword and shield. So I'm going to go with rogue class here. Yeah. Because of the movement and reflexes. Oh, I can choose outfit also. Wait. No, this outfit is better. Thorn. Lady. Deliver. Bonded in blood. Deal increased damage versus dark spawn versus fate touched. I think this looks good. Uh, 
color wise this also looks good color wise but i will take this veil jumpers shadow dragons lots of volume okay let's take this one uh this one restless baby straight in back okay okay i'm selecting this faction here play style adventurer the dark nightmare i can also make preset combat preset okay storyteller is the lowest difficulty look at the incoming damage aggression challenge and timing keeper not even balanced build a party adventurer is good because you can see a uh, most balanced preset here because after this underdog goes to the limit okay so i'm playing this game for the first time nightmare is going to be tough cannot be under without starting a new player okay so i'm going to take uh, either underdog i will take this combat preset adventure Okay, I have a last name, so I'm just going to go with Sam. Okay, let's. Uh, Time to get to work. Nice. Konari Rogue. Let's go. I don't want to change. I'm good. This guy action take me like oh my god. So, where were we? Oh, right. Him. Our best plan is to stop the Dreadwolf before he can perform his ritual. After following his trail across half the known world, we finally tracked him to Manrathos, capital of the Tevinter Imperium. But to find the Dreadwolf in a city this big, we need a local expert. So, naturally, our story begins where all great stories begin. With the seediest bar in town. And the missing contact. Let's try this again. Where's Nev Gallus? You think you can come into my bar and make demands? Nev Gallus is my only shot at finding the Dread Wolf. I'm not leaving until I know where she is. Be ready to talk by the time I get to you. <laughs> Darling, you're adorable. <gasps>
Not enough gold in the world for this. Thurk, now! Meet Bianca. She'd like you to stay a while. Nev Gallus. Dumat Plaza. The Venatory cultists took her to Dumat Plaza. Thanks. Your friend Nev Gallus. He's at Dumat Plaza. I heard. Oh, he's at That's why you're my second in command. Although, for the record, there was probably an easier way to do that than fighting an entire bar. It got us Nev's location. Come on. Harding will be worried. All right. Break's over. I hope Nev's as good at finding people as you claim. She's the best damn detective I've ever met. If she says she's got a lead on Solus, I believe her. Oh, nice magic. The Archon's Palace. Something must have gotten them riled up. Should we be in more of a hurry to get out of here? We don't want to look conspicuous. Just get out of here nice and casual. Find Nev Gallus and stop Solus. You still think you can talk him down before he starts his big ritual? That ritual is going to tear down the veil. The only thing separating us from the Fade and an endless number of demons. I have to talk him down. Wait! But I didn't do anything! Get down! Are they after us? Is it because of the bar? Word travels fast in Minrathus. We've got to help her. We don't have time to get arrested, especially if... We... Oh, crap. We're too late. The ritual started. But if we hurry, we can still stop Solus before it finishes. Let's go! Harding's this way. She'll get us to Dumont Plaza, then Nev will get us to Solus. Watch out! Is Solus something demons on purpose? My guess is the veil is weakening, and they're slipping through the cracks. And when the veil comes down completely... Then the whole world is going to look a lot like this! Come on, this way! It should get us to Harding! You're safe now. Get inside and bar the doors quick as you can, okay? Thank you, miss. Harding, you all right? I've been doing what I can to help. The ritual must be weakening the veil. There are a lot of scared people out here. And a lot of demons. Haven't seen this many come through the Fade in years. And what about you two? Are you okay? Fought some demons, and the Archon's Palace took a few shots at us. Nothing we couldn't handle. Speak for yourself. Have you got my gear? Right over there. I am. Where's Nev Gallus? Wasn't she at the meeting point? The Venatori got to her first. They grabbed her before we arrived and paid off the bar owner to keep it quiet. I'm not surprised our detective did something to piss off a cult of murderous blood mages, but their timing stinks. The bar owner said the Venatori took Nev to Dumont Plaza. Can you get us there, Harding? Not a problem. I saw Dumont Plaza while I was scouting the area, and it was crawling with Venatori. Follow me. I 
Eyes up. We've got company. This is a light attack. Here they come. <laughs> Get to Dumont Plaza and find Nev. You two all right? Pat yourselves up if you need it. I don't get it. If Solus tears down the veil, doesn't that destroy everything? Solus always talked about how beautiful the ancient world was. That world existed before the veil, and he wants to bring it back. Even if his ritual kills us all in the process. Are they? We've had run ins with them in the Born Watch. They're always hunting for dangerous magic. Yep, that round. Not the worst. 
timing. Nev, it's so good to see you. We thought the Venatori had kidnapped you. They thought the same thing. A lot of Venatori in this city have reason to hate me. Figured I'd play along. Find out who wanted to settle the score this time. Then the sky started raining demons. So I'm back on the job. Appreciate it. Rook, this is Nev Gallus, our local expert. She's gonna help us find Solus. Nev, meet Rook. Harding and I found him a while back. Thought we could use an expert on trouble. Rook, like the chess piece? One of the strongest pieces on the board, but he tends to think in straight lines. We haven't got a lot of time. Varric said you had a lead on Solus. You get right to the point. I haven't seen Solus in person, but I did find hints of old magic, similar to what you get in elven ruins. I traced it to a building beneath Our Lady of Victory. That's where your man is hiding. Then let's go, before this ritual he's doing gets any worse. Worse? This ritual's already drawing more power than I'd expect from a dozen mages, who told me he was working alone. I also told you he was an ancient elven god. An elven god? Well, whatever he is, he's causing trouble in my city. Let's go. So if we do catch Solus, or the Dread Rule, whatever he calls himself, what's the plan? He wants to bring down the Veil. Hopefully that ritual takes his full attention. So we catch him while he's doing his ritual, so he can't fight us. That's the hope. If it comes to a straight-up fight, we're dead. <laughs> Looks like the Venatori also found it, and then demons found them. So this is the Dread Wolf's hideout. One of them at least. Not sure how long he's been here. Some of this looks ancient. Solus has been around longer than Menrathus itself.
broken chains. Solus is freeing slaves. Solus hates slavery. One of the few things we actually agreed on. He said the other elven gods were tyrants who oppressed his people. He was trying to help them. What do you see? No sign of Solus. Just a big glowing window or mirror or something. Well, that sounds ominous. Ancient elves doing something to a dragon, I think. Yeah. Trying to control it, maybe? Solus said the other elven gods were evil. If they were binding dragons, he was right about that much, at least. More demons. <laughs> It sounds like that opened something below. Then let's have a look. What's this world? This the big glowing window you saw earlier, Rook. It's called an Alluvian. They're elven and very old. Well, we're not in Manrathas anymore. I know these trees. This is Arlathan Forest. And there's your ritual. The power involved. I've never seen anything like it. The tremors are getting worse. And we've got demons. were bad back in Midrathus. The fades of mess this close to the ritual. No telling what could come through. Does it feel like those tremors are getting worse? Keep moving and try not to think about it.
Destroy demon. Damn thing probably sends Thomas's ego. Just keep the demons off me while I talk to him. Varric, Solus isn't gonna stop just because an old friend asks nicely. Solus needs someone to sell him another option to help him justify changing his mind. We've got your back. If anyone can get through to him, you can. Thanks, Rook. Whatever else he is, he's my friend. And if he won't listen to me, then he'll hear from Bianca. Demons. Take care of the team for me. Hey, Chuckles. Hope I'm not interrupting. Let's buy him some time. I hope Varric is getting through to Solus. We're better to a fast. We can't hold these demons off forever. is a wound inflicted upon this world. It must be healed. By drowning the world in demons? I have taken precautions to minimize the damage, Varric. Minimize the... People are dying right now. You need to listen. People are always dying. It is what they do. Shit. We need a better plan. Do you want me to take the shot? Won't work. He's too powerful. What if we disrupt the ritual? How? See those statues? If we break the scaffolding holding that one up, the whole thing will come down on Solus. It's risky. Interrupting a ritual at this scale will have consequences. And what about the demons? Varric needs us to hold them off. Right. You two stay here. I'll bring down the statue. What? No. Stepping into all that raw magic is suicide. The storm could tear you apart. Anyone got a better idea? Fine. But you'll need backup. I'm with you. I'm a mage. I'll go. Either way, someone needs to stay back and deal with the demons. Let's go, Ned. Harding, keep the demons busy. Good luck.
We shared a journey years ago. Do you believe that I would do this if there was some other better option? The pillar's weak, but... It isn't falling! We need to push it! Right! Together! Now! You came a long way and made a valiant effort, Varric, but this story does not end with my downfall. That was some good epilogue. You have no idea what you have done. Soulless. I know what I did. I stopped you from destroying the world. I was not destroying the world. When you disrupted my ritual, the magical energies pulled me here, into the Fade. Okay, so that's why you're here. But why am I here? Your physical body is unconscious, but you shed a few drops of blood at the ritual site. Enough for a tenuous connection. Blood magic? Firstly, I abhor the use of blood magic. Secondly, had I the power to control you, I would already have used it. All right, you brought me here to talk. What are we talking about? The Evanurus, or as you would call them, the Elven Gods. The creatures that escaped. In ancient times, they ruled the Elves, but that was not enough. They sought not just to be obeyed, but to be worshipped. When I rebelled, they drew on the horrific magic of the Blight, corrupting all they saw until I trapped them. Thanks to you, though, I am now trapped. And the blighted elven gods walk free. Thanks to me. I wasn't the one performing a big ritual to free them. Free them? My mortal enemies. I was ensuring that they would never escape their prison. You were tearing down the veil. I had a plan. Varric always said you'd have a big explanation for why none of this was your fault. Varric. Yeah, he said that's your style. 
Never quite lies, clever half-truths that let you convince yourself you're doing the right thing. He tried to talk to you anyway, and now he's her. Varric is... quite practiced at shading the truth himself. So those things that got out, you said they were gods? They said they were gods. Blighted, tyrannical, sadistic gods. It took all my power to imprison them millennia ago. But I am certain you will be fine. That's really helpful. What are you, the elven god of sarcasm? Lies, treachery, and rebellion, depending upon the story. And how could I help? I do not have my ritual dagger. I cannot access my network of mirrors to travel from the lighthouse to anywhere in the world. All I can offer is what I know. Helpful advice from the elven god of, and I am quoting you here, Lies, treachery, and rebellion, depending on the story. Elganan and Gilanane are your problem to solve. This is your responsibility now. Why? Why tear down you the veil? Listen. No! No! I have no idea what you have done. This is your responsibility now. Well, look who's still with us. Varric? You're okay, but I saw Sola stab you. You fell. Trust me, kid. I've had worse. And it takes more than a flesh wound to stop me. And that does not look like it. Don't think I'll be making it out to the field anytime soon, though. I should have come up with a better plan. I should have... You worked with what you had. And you succeeded, by the way. World isn't drowning in demons. It isn't over, though. We trapped Solus in the Fade, but something else got out. Something... Rook, you've got this. I've seen your work. I remember your disagreement with senior watchers about how to handle that undead rebellion. There's a reason I dragged you into this whole Solus mess. You're clever, adaptable, and you don't know when to quit. Rook, look who's awake. I've been searching the place for Lyrian potions. Didn't mean to intrude. <clears throat> Not at all. I was just about to have a look around. Oh, be careful if you go outside, Rook. It is a long way down. The Alluvian led us into something, and it's in the Fade. Because that's what we needed. The dream world. Then I really need to look around. Yeah, can't hurt. In theory. And we need to talk about our next move. Maybe find Harding? She went outside somewhere. There's a table in the central area here. I'll meet you both there. Go ahead, Rook. Me. I need to sleep. See you later, kid. Okay, so both of them are injured right now, so I don't think they will join us. क्या मतलब डिफरेंस क्या है भाई मेरे को तो यही समझ में नहीं आ रहा है रस्टी ब्लेड क्यों यूज कर रहा है इतना अच्छा ब्लेड रहते हुए ये छोटा ब्लेड तो एक ही है might change when I get new blades or something like that. The guitar slot. What is guitar? Casual wear. Casual wear. Casual wear. 
ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इससे क्या होता है अपियरेंस प्रिसेट है ये Letter dated six months ago. दरवाजा अपने आप खुल जाता है वो वाला अपने आप come when they dream but dwarves don't dream and somehow i'm here yeah it's unreal nev then we should talk about what to do next we should but maybe look around a little we might be here a while ओ मेरे पास तीन था क्या ओ आई हैड थ्री आई विल टेक एक्सप्लोडिंग एरो जंप अटैक्स गारंटी क्रिटिकल हिट्स 
Oke. Okay. Nice. Next we are gonna go for the evasive manoeuvres. gathering the team I need to change my appearance my casual appearance I don't like this as my casual appearance this looks good This one looks better. Okay, let's go. Four. So, we stopped the ritual. And Varric paid the price. Hey. Varric made his choice to go talk with Solus. He knew the risks. We all did. And now Solus is gone. And we're here. Wherever here is. Besides in the Fade. Solus called it the Lighthouse. He did? When? While I was out cold, he showed up in my dream and he's really mad that we stopped his ritual. Good. He's also trapped in some kind of prison in the Fade. Not happy about that either. You're sure that wasn't just a dream? It's a reasonable reaction. Solus can speak with people in their dreams, even kill them. I'm safe on that front. I bled a little when I got knocked out. Enough that he can gripe at me, but not enough that he can make my head explode. So Solus is using blood magic, like any normal mage would to play with your mind. But he's not a normal mage, like I told you. He's an elven god. Putting together a nice ritual doesn't make him a god. We all know he's not a god, but it's faster than saying ancient elven mage every time we talk about him. All right, well, we've stopped the ritual and there doesn't seem to be an immediate danger. For now. You're certain Solus can't use blood magic to affect your mind? I'm not certain of anything. But we're not out of danger. What do you mean? Solus had two of the other elven gods imprisoned. When he got trapped, they escaped. So those things we saw come out of the Fade when the ritual went wild, those are... Elganarn and Gilanane, two of the Elganarn. ancient elven gods that Solus rebelled against. Solus warned me about them being evil, which is pretty rich coming from the guy who just tried to tear down the veil. You don't believe him? No, that's the problem. I do believe him. He said they were horrific tyrants. Tyrants so powerful, elven history remembers them as gods. Solus says Elganarn and Gilanane drew on the blight for power and became corrupted. That was when he imprisoned them. So instead of one, God running around, we have two. And they're not just powerful, they're blighted. We need to get out there and stop them. Just like that. We're down a man without Varric. We can't just rush in. I know you're hurt, Nev. But the rest of us need to do something. I'll be ready to fight when it's time, but we need to investigate, then figure out what we're dealing with. And how many more people will get hurt, get killed, while we spend time investigating? If Elganarn and Gilanane are worse than Solus, we can't go in blind. We need to know what they can do and what they want. But we only have Solus's word about all of this. Then let's go investigate for ourselves. We find out what we're dealing with, and then we take our shot. Fine. The Alluvian led us here instead of back to Minrathis. Let's hope it goes back to the ritual site. Maybe we can find some clues at the scene of the crime. Nev. Are you okay to go? It's a headache. I've worked with worse. All right then. 
Let's get back to the ritual site. The Alluvian has its own special room. It's just down the stairs. मैंने को बाहर जाना था यार ये लोग अंदर ही लेके जा रहे हैं For all we know, there's a dozen demons waiting on the other side of that alluvian. <clears throat> If it even takes us back to Arlefin. Nev, you sure you're up for this? Don't worry about me. Shall we? Let's do this. Quiet. Well, isn't that a surprise? There's the ritual site. But if the gods really did get out, they're not here anymore. Right. Let's take a look around and see if we can find. It's me, Elise Harding. Harding? What are you doing back in Arlathan? It's complicated. I can see that. Rook, Nev, this is Strife and Irulan. Varric and I met them when we first started hunting down Solas. They're veil jumpers, experts in ancient elven magic. Hardly experts. I should have been able to shut that artifact down. I'm sorry, Tarith. It's not your fault. Since the sky ripped open, the magic's been surging. Bunch of artifacts that had been dormant for centuries started coming alive. This is because of Finn Harrell's, sorry, Solus's ritual, isn't it? You all were supposed to stop him. We found Solus and stopped his ritual, but things took a turn. The magic went wild. Solus was dragged into the Fade, into some kind of prison. But when he went in, something, or someone else, got out. Elganon and Gilanane, supposedly. Mathalanast. The return of our gods, the Evanuris. If those two are back out in the world, it explains a lot. Like what? Artifacts that have been dormant for centuries are awakening. Something that would need a source of tremendous magical energy, like two of our old gods. I was really hoping that the Dread Wolf was lying to us by all of this. He's the god of lies, but some things are sacrosanct, even to him. He might be a bastard, but he's a damn sight better than the Evanuris. There's a reason Solus led a rebellion against the Evanuris. And a reason he imprisoned them. But now they've escaped. Tarith is in bad shape. We need to get him back to the camp. We've still got dozens of veil jumpers unaccounted for. How can we help? We need to find Belara Lute. She's the best there is at working with our ancient artifacts. And also at blowing them up. 
She was off looking for another artifact before this ritual shook everything loose. If anyone can get a handle on all this wild magic and the artifact it's setting off, it'll be her. Right. You get your friend back to your camp and... <sighs> we'll find Ballara. Stay here with the Veil Jumpers. Harding and I can handle this. Is that so? That's so. If you're not at full strength, you're a liability we can't afford. Fine. Your call. We'll meet you back at the Veil Jumper camp. It's just south of here. Valara's out near some elven ruins to the west. At least she was three days ago. I'd start your search there. Good luck, Rook. And thank you. At least I'm not fighting anything alone. Is it me? Or is there something strange about this fog? It all feels a little off. Like everything shifted a little bit. I will definitely have to fight here. Is that suit of armor moving? Luter. Strife and Irulin sent us to find you. Who are you, exactly? Call me Rook. Lace Harding. Protocol is to wait a full week before they send anyone out to look for me. I've only been gone three days. Well, the situation's changed. For the worse, unfortunately. The elven gods Elganan and Gilanane have escaped from Fenharel's prison. And it seems like they want to destroy the world. Oh! Yes, that is very much for the worse. Okay, wait. I need a second. It's a lot to take in. It does sort of explain a few things, though. Like what? The surge of raw magic in the area. These artifacts started waking up a while ago, but in fits and starts. One here, a couple there. Then... A couple of days ago, the sky split open. And now, raw magic, thick as fog. Only a god or gods could have done that. There's something kind of exciting about it. And dangerous, really dangerous. Dangerous enough that I was gonna head back to the Veil Jumper camp, but... But what? See that shimmer? That's a Veil Bubble. It's separating us from the rest of the real world, so to speak. You can only pass through it one way. Once you're in, you can't get out. Strife and Irulan said you're their best fail jumper. Hope that means you've got an idea. Maybe. A bubble like that? There has to be something at the center that's generating it. Something powerful. If we can find it and remove it, safely, I mean, the bubble itself should collapse. And then we're back in reality? I really, really hope so. Well then, let's get going. Kitna time ho gaya yaar. Ek ghanta se zyada ho gaya. To main yahi pe save karta hu. Aur yahi se start karenge next video mein.
thank you guys for watching stay tuned for more and don't forget to subscribe we'll be back with more exciting videos until then stay tuned and have a good day guys uh what uh i will save it the uh, with my name so that i don't confuse with other saves here <laughs> Okay bye guys